The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here on this Friday, Friday the 15th of uh, halfway through the month of September. Uh, I've got the chart right up here. I was asked in the den about LAC. We spoke about this a little while ago, Lithium Americas Corporation. Uh, it was somewhere over here and we were looking for it to break to a leg C and it did in the Chapman way. Oh, let me just do this since it's Tactical Friday. So in the Chapman way methodology, you've got a very simple uh, set of tools that I started developing years ago when I used to use graph paper, engineering paper, and uh, uh, a ruler and a pencil. And the little squares were like like one one sixteenth each, something like that. And I used that as as was it a point? Yeah, each one was a point. So you can imagine when I went back and did all those charts from the 1920s, uh, there was a book that had the closing prices of the Dow. I I. I I did charts, so it started off with uh, 1920s, and then we got to 1929. Market had a high of 386 on the on the Friday, long weekend, September the second or third. It um, made a high of 386, and it tumbled down to 40 over the next year, year and a half, two years. So this is very important in terms for me um, looking at the charts and seeing the notations. So I developed this technique that said if you got if you identify a starting point, each successively higher high can be alphabetized A, B, C, D, E, F, G on the way up. The object I eventually found out, I originally called this a seven-way form because it got to a D and I thought D was it. And then there were so many charts that failed the D. Then all of a sudden I saw that they can go to E and F. I didn't even know there was a G. And uh, in 19... Uh, 87, my first uh, big client was uh, Fidelity because I demonstrated uh, over the summer my work to them and I had a hotline and I remember going to my hotline saying, we've got a peak D, this is August of 1987, uh, I said, we've got a peak D in my daily chart, I but everything about it looks like it could go higher, so we're not going to do anything yet. And then we got to, I think it was E or an F. I don't know why I'm thinking 2272, I don't know what it was. And this, I could go back, I've got the charts, somebody's sitting over here. Um, and I said, Okay, I've got a sell signal, and we got a sell signal, thank goodness, because that was the very month that Fidelity said, Okay, we, we'll, we'll have you as an advisor. So, um so that that developed and over the years. I found it can go. There was a technique that I developed that said at peak D, the fourth highest peak, you can get it. What's I then called an instant restart, meaning that you can within three bars, if it goes to a higher high, you can have like a parallel count, E slash A, F slash B, G slash C, and G slash C says there's a really good chance that it's still going to go to a D. Okay, with that said. That's the simplicity of it. And yeah, we've got peak A, peak B, peak C, and peak D. The last one failed at a peak C with an arch formation, dreaded H, took it out and went much lower. So D and a very strong. Look at the MACD, the moving average convergence, strong. Stochastic's not yet at 80%. That gives it room to, to move a little bit. On balance volume's lagging a lot. But look at the price. Big, strong green candle. The nine period moving average is way over the 14. Everything's over the 50. And now there's 200 period moving average. I would have to say 20.51. If we can get to 20.63, something in that area, 63, then there's 200 period moving average, which it didn't even. Right, let me show you something interesting. Look at this. This Look at the way this 200 period moving average, it went to a peak G at some point back in February. Then it pulled back and then. 200 p moving average. What are, you didn't need a chap move count. You didn't need Fibonacci. You didn't need volume. You didn't. Need, you needed nothing. You needed just one trend line, a moving average, 200 period exponential moving average to tell you resistance, resistance, resistance. Boom, comes close. 
not even near the resistance, because I, I say you've got to get with a really close, and then it's suddenly, you know how a magnet, you got to, you got your metal, and you get close, and then all of a sudden, it grabs it, and it sticks. That's the magnet effect. It's getting closer now, because this is, look at this beautiful time sequence. Look at that, number of bars to the left, number of bars to the right, and this just says there's a really good chance it's going to stick to 20.90s, and then we'll see. Then it might just get stuck. All right, so that's LAC, and that also tells you that at this particular point, you've got really strong. Look at this beautiful, you see this trend line right here? This Chapman Wave inside track, something else I developed. Instead of the usual trend lines, I take two trend lines and I make a little mini channel, and I call it the Chapman Wave inside track propellant zone or repellent zone. In this case, it was a, repellent, a, a propellant zone, and it pushed the price. You want to see how these things work? This is live right now. Here is the one-minute chart. I drew this in much earlier. I had the funniest night. Well, it wasn't so funny, actually. This morning, I, I was busy doing my news there, and I said, I, I, I've, got, I've got the cell signal, and it was right here. Right 710. Yeah, it was somewhere around here. I, I said, all right, that's it. A 45.60, I've got this arch formation. This is the... The rectangle formation, a large one that creates an arch formation that looks like it's going to fail, and then it goes pink with a nine period moving average. And just before it even did that, I said, I, This is going, and I thought I hit the button to go short at 4560. And I'm busy doing my work and everything, and I'm drawing these things. I even went to the chart. I just didn't look at I didn't, I didn't even look at what, what I'd done. I missed. I hit the wrong, I didn't hit the button. I thought I hit the button. So here we are at forty five twenty six. Well, that's that that happens. Anyway, back to back to our story. So black is doing very nicely. All right, now let's go to the to the real thing, which is um, I, I also said in the den that I would get to DBA. We've spoken about this before. DBA is the DB Agricultural Fund. Now this is so interesting because. We are long. We are long for years now. The DBA, the DBA Agricultural Fund. We are long. Look right there. 1325 was the low in June 2020. I love when we're able to get right the ictus of the turn, so that when it rallies, when it starts to consolidate after that, you've now got big leeway, like the Dow short that we had right at August the first this year. Um, the high, the actual day of the high, it gave me at least a little bit of a cushion to say, all right, you've got your time now because it could start. And we had that big 500-point day. didn't affect us because we were in right at the top. So in this particular instance, what we're looking at is now you see the way these things work. You see this top at 22.38, and this is DB Agricultural Fund. DBA is the symbol. It's at 22.37, up 16 cents. Well, the high... On the 24th of uh, July was 22.38. Today's high is what? 22.38. But it's already been down to 21. 21.02, I think it was 21.08. So look at this. Now, normally I would make my plumb line right there in the middle. But if I saw this when I was when I was speaking, uh, I think it was Jambalaya in the Den want to know about it. I. Um, Time to do because it's just asking about it, and I, I just said that it's in a buy signal to buy mode and should go higher. But it, it broke out, and now it's in this leg D. I would have had to find another plumb line to find the left side, right side. I'll do this live when we get back, it'll be historic, but I'll do it nevertheless. Dow's down 104. I'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. 
You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Uh, so this is technical Friday on uh, Friday with you a lot more on the Chapman Wave methodology. So I've got DBA up the daily chart. I've just moved it over to the to the right so that I can't. I, of course, I know what it is, but I'm saying if I didn't know, this is what I would be doing. So this letter here is a C, and it's a floating C because it went one penny above. And look, here's this Chapman Wave. You see this little thing here that I drew? You see that uh, it's a Chapman Wave falling axe formation. Oops, I've got to find another one here. A Chapman Wave falling axe formation. That's this one right here, um, where you make a high and then you make lower highs and much lower lows. Then all of a sudden, it finds support and it breaks that trend line and it has a one to one to the upside. Well, look at this. This is this is here. Where's the other one we had? Um, I think it's here. I might be wrong. Yes, there it is. UEC. Uh, we are still along this. Uh, we just took a 58% profit from a little tiny little bit off. We're taking all the way up. We're along from over here, uh, 346. I just wanted to show you this. Look how it's walking the nine period. Now it's running the nine period moving out. It's getting way overboard based on the on balance volume. But that stochastic is flat at 94%. That is really good. And the MACD is good. But I just wanted to show you here's this little flag, or I call it the Chapman Wave falling exclamation because it looks like an axe with a handle. And there's the blade, the expanding blade. And that's exactly what we've got you in the DBA. So look at that right there. It was there as well. And now what we've got. So what I would be doing is this. <clears throat> I'd say, OK, my plumb line, that's the midpoint that I'm anticipating. If there was a cup formation or V-shaped formation where the price goes back, where it goes back to the previous high, if this is my plumb line right there, you can see just, just visually, I'm way, way behind. I'm not going to get there. But I have a technique that I call the Chapman Wave Inside Wedge. So I take a particular uh, a, a candle or a particular uh, uh, objective on the left side, and I create a trend line. 
And that trend line says, all right, if I'm going up like that, that could be it. It could be quite a bit could could be quite a bit of time before I get there. And then what I do is I grab this rectangle formation. It's, it could be a straight line. And for me, it's just easy to do that. And I say, look, that's not going to work. But if I go to this peak right here, this peak right here, and I I make a, an exact measurement to the right side because I there are particularly the candles peaks or troughs that I use in this particular technique. That's what I teach. If you sign up for my newsletter, you'll get all these webinars that I discuss all of these techniques in great detail. So then what I do is I slap this on, I put it there, and then what I do is I try to make a measured move from that left side to my new plumb line, which is right here. And I take the inside wedge, I make it green. You don't have, if you don't have the color, you don't have to have any of this. I'm doing this because it's demonstration. And I take this and I move it up. And I ha I try to join, say so it'll join somewhere over there, right? So let's just see where this goes. And maybe what I'll do is I'll extend it to the right. Extend to the right, let's see where it goes. And now this is what I would do. And then I would draw in the cup formation lopsided cup because it isn't exactly to the pivot point of the bottom. So it goes to there. I move it to the right and let's see what we've got. And there it is. Look. Um, in fact, I was the one that made the mistake because I didn't hit those those the, that candle. That's the, the objective is to hit the candle going on the way up because that becomes the resistance line. So if I did that, that would give me this right here. I'm going to not extend it for the moment. Okay, take that away. So look what I did. And there that would have been the, the price point. So it's one day early. Look, one bar early. And it has gone to 2238. 2238 was the high. Almost a triple high back on the 21st of July. That's the technique that I would use. And then I'd complete the cup formation saying, yep, there it is. So, and what it is now, if it goes one penny higher, this E takes you to an F. Uh, could it be a brand new F slash B? Yeah, it could. But that also starts the monthly chart going to a D. Now, what's so fascinating about this, look at the horrible action in wheat. Wheat is part of this uh, ETF. Wheat is making lower lows. It just had a really nice bounce off the left side, right side price time match that I did over here. It should have been there. So it came in a, a, a bar late to the point that I needed, but it actually then went lower, and now it's turning around. The on balance volume hasn't given any clue, but the stochastic has the MACD. So wheat is finally getting a little bit of a bounce. Uh, soybeans mm, is holding in this pattern, another favorite pattern of mine, one that comes down like this and then expands like that. That's that falling axe formation. Says that we should attempt at least to get from the 1354 level that it's at right now to try to test that candle on the left somewhere in the 1380 uh, area. Uh, but right now, it's just going sideways and the corn. The corn is at the lows. It's just, the, look, there's your pattern that I showed you just a moment ago. Uh, I can't remember which chart it was, but it's a large rectangle, I said, that can have an arch formation. And that says there should be, there's a peak C1 and a peak C2 in the monthly chart. Um, and that's interesting because what is making the DB Agricultural Fund move so nicely? It's this thing here, Mr. Sweet Tooth at a, at a new uh, recovery high. 27.38, sugar, peak C1, C2, C3, pulls back sharply. Now it's in leg D in the in the weekly chart, leg D in the monthly. And is this this is not even an all-time high because the all-time high was right here at a peak F back in August of 2011. All right, way up in the 36.29 level. This is a continuous contract, so that's a different price. But absolutely everything else is the same. The patterns, everything, just the actual price get smoothed out. So there it is. So that's what's really helping the DB Agricultural Fund. And isn't that interesting? Because if I relied on it, just look, someone asked me about wheat the other day. And I said, uh, it's acting very poorly. But I think that was almost the day or the day before it made that low. And now it's trying to rally a little bit, just a little bit. It's not very strong. 
but it's trying to rally. Let's do the same thing now. I just wanted to show you with the pattern that we were looking at in the one minute chart, how I drew it in of the E-mini. Uh, this was the left side, right side price tie match. I made a plumb line right there. Then it arched over and look, here's this inside track propellant zone. Every time it got there, look what happened. It came down, hit it, tried to rally. Came down, hit it, tried to rally. Came down, hit it, tried to rally. Uh, peak A minus failed. And now it's gone to a leg, a trough E. And it's, it's not looking very strong. And in fact, what I learned years ago from doing that hand charting was keep trend lines going for a long time because at some point they get to meet. You remember that one that we had at was it 45.38? I don't even know where it is. In the E-mini? Oh, it'll be in a new chart. That It won't be on that chart anymore. But you remember I had that in the, out of the blue. On the way up, we, can't, we went back to that level. Was it 45.38? Yeah, 45. No, it was, I think it was 44.38. Um, okay. So with that said, uh, the Dow is down 111. S&P down 28. We've got a lot to talk about. I haven't even gone through all the different um, indices. I'll be doing that. And then I had a question about uh, LLY. I'll look at Lily in a moment. LLY, there it is. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30 year T bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. So uh, a question came in about Eli Lilly. 
So Eli Lilly Large Farm, one of the largest pharmaceutical companies, trading at 585.90, down 571. So this is exactly what I was talking about. You've got a, a chap wave right there. Instant restart. Goes to a peak D, doji candle, pulls back within three bars and makes a higher high, or it parallels that high on the left side. Goes to an E, call it E slash A, F slash B, G slash C, and invariably you will get a sudden pop to the upside to give you a D. So here we are at 601.13 on the 12th. Uh, the 13th, it goes to 600.75. So you've gone 601.13 to 675, just a couple of cents. And yesterday you go to 601.84. 84 is higher than the 75. So it goes to a D, and there you are. There's your D, and what's the objective in the Chapman Wave to get you from a, a leg, uh, from a, from a starting point, <clears throat> to a, an upgraded buy mode that'll take you to at least a D, and here's your D. Two red candles, a little Doji candle. We'll see it's Friday. This will be the tiniest little candle in quite a while. Uh, F slash C in the month in the weekly chart. On balance volumes a little overbought. Stochastic's fabulous at 97%. MACD's outstanding. Price is way over the nine. Nine is way over the 14. And a G slash C in the monthly chart, same thing. And a little overbought, not a little bit, a lot overbought there. But that doesn't mean to say, look how long it's been overbought. So it can stay for a while. I'm suggesting, yes, I don't know what the question is, just about Eli Lilly. And all I can say is um, within the context of the patterns that we look at. Look at this gap. You think this gap won't be filled? It will be filled. Will it be filled tomorrow? No. Will it be filled this year? I have no clue. Will it be filled at some point? Yes. Gaps on the way up, when they are very big, tend at some point to become magnets, but it can take a long time. Small gaps, uh, same thing. Look, there's a little gap over there. That'll be the first one. I wouldn't even be looking at this gap under 500 because you've got this little one here at about 560. So one thing at a time. So on a very short-term basis, it's just taking a little digestive moment. It has made that D. Um, and yes, I will go over the SMHs. Uh, sorry, I never, I took off that SOXS. I thought it just needed another day, and but I should have had it because that would have been a fabulous, uh, we've had it many times before, didn't have it. So I actually needed that space, so I took it off. But I was intending to put it back on. I'll talk about it in my overview tomorrow for subscribers. Um, I'll probably be doing it this afternoon, send it out um, early this evening. So what we're looking at is 587. This is digesting. It looks fantastic, but it visually looks overboard. But it doesn't know it. At 587, you think there's somebody inside Eli Lilly chart saying, I'm overboard. No, the price is just the price. It has no clue. What we do is we try to analyze it. And all I can say is that this whole level at 550, that's the thing that will be tested at some point soon rather than later. And most importantly, it looks fantastic. It's in the right area at the right time, but it is getting toppy. And yes, it can go higher. I wouldn't be so if it does go higher. I think the 603, 605 will be a, a very strong container. Let me use this. I never use this. Uh, let me go there. So what we're looking at, we're looking at Eli Lilly, LLY, LLY. This is the Chapman Wave, um, daily, weekly, monthly. And I usually put in the 120-minute chart. 120-minute chart, um, autom automated resistance and support levels. 601.33 is the daily one that's the only one left. 543, we've already spiked through it. Now that becomes great support. Um, and the monthly chart, 427, there's nothing above. And the 120 minute chart, look at the cluster formation, how it's been repelled and it's gone below the support levels. So that's why I'm saying I think it's in a consolidation phase at a higher level. But I don't, have, I don't even have a sell signal yet. I would get a sell signal on the daily if it closes under 572 for two sessions. Then that's a sell signal. It might immediately get upgraded to sell mode, but all in the daily. The weekly still looks great. Hope that helps you. Good. Next question came in. Uh, where did it go? Uh, Toll Brothers. Now, here's another. 
you know, we berate ourselves in the den. We've got these, all of us have something to say about coulda, woulda, shoulda. But Toll Brothers, once upon a time, we were short this, uh, this instrument. Uh, we, took a, a little bit of, we took a little bit of a loss. We had two separate positions. If I had raised the stop just another point, we would still be in it. And here it is at 78.30. And I kept saying, this is, and, and what I said, let me just tell you this. What I said to subscribers this morning to my opening call newsletter in my Trader's Corner. Let me see if I can get there right now. <clears throat> I said, uh, Friday, this is the uh, opening call newsletter, Traders Corner. The daily Dow's new gray leg B saw the 914, that's the 9 people moving average, 14 moving average, flip positive, making this a key moment. There are, uh, there are strikes, that's uh, the, the order unions, heating and crude oil, uranium, Yields and the dollar are soaring as the financials, brokers, and gold are now bouncing. But the SMHs stalled. That's the SMHs, the semiconductors. And to me, that's the big clue. Uh, the SMHs stalled. <clears throat> Could this coincide with a trend change that the market is anticipating? SMH suggests not yet. And then I go on to all our different positions. Um, so within that context, all I can say is it's not a big deal. The Dow's only down 115. S&P's down 28 after a pretty good session yesterday in the Dow. But here we are. And I think that we're, we're looking at here in the Toll Brothers, uh, Home Builders, Lenar had earnings. I don't know what happened. I thought I saw the earnings. Oh, no, don't do that. I just typed on my newsletter. I didn't mean to do that. Is it back again? Everything set? Yes. Whew. Let me just, there we are, okay. So, look, Lenar, I think they had earnings. And yesterday, it looked like they were up a point. They were just un, sort of unchanged. Now they are down four and a half at 113, right on the 200 period exponential moving average. Do you need an exponential moving average? No. But when you need it, you want to sitting there to give you all that information. Look at, look at this 200 period moving average. Since it broke, gapped up, and then broke above it back in November of 2022, that's almost a year ago. Look, not once has it even come close to the 200 period moving average. And then out of the blue, look, if I did left side, right side price time match here, look, if I did this, if I took that low, I went to that top. Now, what I normally do is I don't go to the top when it looks really obvious that it's going to take a little bit more time. I go to maybe the cup or, or just after it when it makes a low and then tries to rally. And that would be my my fulcrum, my midpoint, my plumb line right there. And then I go left side, right side, price time match, just click, make that red. This I change to green, like that. And this is it. But that was the idea. This is kind of what I do. And then I choose a particular candle on the left to draw the chamber inside wedge, target, in this case, support line. And I draw that in. I would have had it there, but now you can see it goes all the way to there. But look, this is coming down, making arch formations that dreaded H, and it keeps coming down and just hit the 200 p moving average for the first time. I'll be back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the US futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. So that's, that's kind of what I wanted to say about the um, home builders. I don't see from the action that they're... The, the patterns that they're forming right now, that they can go much higher, I think they're all going to be in a digestive phase. And that has to do with the interest rates. Even if interest rates had to start coming down a little bit right now, I think that, the, that it, it takes a while for them to change. And that just is, I think, impacting the, um, the whole, whole home building sector. I just want to talk about this chart. You see the spiral to the upside, CCJ in the den. number of people are talking about it. I'm going to get to SMHs in a moment. Um, you see this way you've scooped up, see this little cup formation right here, and you've had consecutive bigger bars, not smaller bars like you saw in, in some of the other instruments we were looking at. These are big bars, and here's one of your biggest bars, um, not ever because it's done it before, but this is really huge. On the weekly basis, I, this is probably one of the biggest bars ever in CCJ, chemical core, uranium fuel. So as I look at this, there's a pattern that I always look at, and I'll, I'll use the weekly for the moment. Look, here's the weekly, and it's got this kind of lopsided cup formation, and it's just very steadily moving up, and then it just breaks out. So you see the stochastics at 95%, fabulous. I mean, that's what you want to see in a big move. And whatever, look, when it fails quickly, the price fails. When it steadies up, the price keeps going higher. So what we're looking at here is there's a huge price expansion. So there are three ways that I look at this. Either it has just a momentary stall, and then it makes a couple of another big moves to the upside, big candles, but only modest higher highs. In other words, it has a sharp pullback and then closes higher. Then it has another sharp pullback, closes higher. That's one set of scenarios, or, or one set in the scenarios. The next is I draw in above it and below it, I draw in a rectangle formation. And it's a little bit higher. In this case, I go to maybe 43, somewhere around there, maybe 44. And I go like this. I start off like that with a halfway marker. And it's a weekly chart. And I wait because if it takes it out, I automatically go to the base. But I start off like this saying there could be a sideways move and then a sudden drop. 
but it could go sideways for a while that really confuses everyone thinking, oh, it should be pulling back. Maybe it's holding. I've got to buy. And they, they're buying. And it had, turns out to be a huge distribution phase. That's the second scenario. The third is we get the Eiffel Tower move. They go straight up like this and then plummets to the downside. <clears throat> With this number of good green candles, I'm, I'm not sure I'm seeing that scenario right now. I think it's more likely that I have to lower this and say there is a digestive phase. Maybe it doesn't take out this week's low, but it does come down and it just chops around here, has maybe one more spike a little later on, and then it comes back down and eventually it comes down to the 34 level, which is the 14-period uh, exponential moving average where it is right now. So I'll leave this in here and I'll just, we'll see what happens. But in the meantime, it's spectacular action. This is, and, and I heard Jacob talking about, I didn't hear actually what he said, and uh, then I saw the chart of you, 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 you. This is what we've been talking about for a couple of weeks now. I had a question from someone uh, a little while ago saying, <clears throat> do you prefer you, 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 which is Energy Fuels Inc. to the uh, uranium, <clears throat> uh, in the uranium sector, to the one uh, that you have, which is UEC? And I said, I the chart of UEC is a way better looking chart formation, but in the next couple of days, I think you, 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 you is going to play catch up. And wow, look at that. It goes from the sevens to the 834 level today. And this has got the same pattern. And he has an overlapping way. Peak C1, C2 breaks, breaks down, starts to peak ABC, and it goes to a D over the previous highs. And the, the monthly chart, you can see, isn't, isn't as strong technically but look at the base of support that you've built here. So in the end, this might turn out to be stronger because it's got all the support, whereas UEC has, has spiraled once, pulled back, and now it's just a brand new move to the upside. Okay, so I wanted to cover that. Now let's go to the SMH. So look, here's the SMH. <clears throat> we are short from right here. We had the doji candle high on the 31st of July, 161.17. A green candle, but it took out the left side low. That's usually not a good sign. And before the open that third day, that was on the August, the, the day that we went, the, the day after we went short the Dow, we went short the, S, the uh, SMHs, but we also had the SOXS, which is the three times short. So we still have, and we've got beautiful profits on the way down, but we still have the um, S, SMH short position. And today... I, as I was doing it, I said, you know, I think you're making a mistake, but I, I, I just felt that it was difficult to get in for risk reward unless we gap down immediately, and it really didn't look like we were going to gap down in the SMH is right at the open. So we don't have that, but we still have our core position short. But here's the pattern that I call the dreaded H. So the dreaded H um, is, in, in my technique, this pattern right here. <clears throat> Remember, this is Technical Friday. So we're going through some of these things. <clears throat> I'll know in a few minutes whether or not I can do <clears throat> Steve Rhodes' hour, because Steve is away. I think he's back on Monday. I'm not sure. Um, so this is the pattern we're always looking at. Sharp down, makes an arch, goes to peak A, and then or a B, and then it fails. It can go to a C, but usually it's an A. Look, this A failed right there. So it goes to peak A or a B, and then takes out the left side low. Well, we haven't done that yet. We haven't even got a sell signal in the in the weekly chart. We've got a sell mode in the daily, but nothing yet in the in the, in the weekly. And the MACD is failing, the stochastics failing, the unbalanced volume is failing, but that nine is still well above the 14 period moving average. So this is a work in progress. And now what we're looking at is if any time next week on a daily basis there is a, a close under one one. 43.35 you see this trend line right here this is the look at that expanding wedge formation to the upside this I'm going to make pink this I'm going to make green and all I can say is if it's not a propellant zone it'll become a repellent zone what is a repellent zone have a look at this apple that's a repellent zone right there it was a propellant zone, boom, becomes a repellent zone. There's the dreaded H pattern in the Apple chart. It hasn't broken down yet. Anytime next week, if it takes out 170, 92 is the 200 period moving average, 
any daily close below 169, <clears throat> and this is really, I think that it'll turn pink, the nine period moving average in Apple. So with that said, um, so I, um, yes, I, I just got a message. Yeah, I'm going to be able to do the next hour. Um, it's uh, Steve's hour, and but I might have to do some things during the hour to take it that I would normally be doing. So um, that's what we'll do. So I want you to just tell you the SMHs, as I say, leave the markets up, leave the markets down. In this case, holding steady in the weekly chart. And if you look at the general charts of the, of the Dow, the S&P, the QQQ, even the IWM, Go for those picture charts and not to even sell signals. They are very close in some cases, but they have. But I think that the estimators are telling us that if we've got more information, they could test on the three area. That's going to be big for What happens? I'll be right back. As a jump, I get the first tower, down 111. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Well, so we're back. And uh, so yeah, let me just show you gold. Yeah, so the SMHs, I think, are coming down. They, they are, and NVIDIA was key. Let me just go to the, uh, to the daily chart here. Look, NVIDIA with all the hype and everything. Look what's happened to NVIDIA. Turn, do you remember the other day I said, look, it turned pink. The nine period moving average turned pink. And look what, what's going on right now. And it's a peak D in the, uh, in the daily chart, peak D in the weekly chart. 
uh, G slash A <laughs> in the monthly chart. That I, I can't even deal with that. And there's the same technique that I just drew in in the uh, monthly chart, that very long inside track uh, repellent zone. Okay, so let's go back to this. Here's gold. So I will be doing the next hour. That's Steve's hour. I, as I say, in between, uh, I will have to, I might have to do some things uh, on the charts itself that I will do for myself. So yes, gold peak D in the one minute chart. This is a question in the 10 minute chart. Normally, I have to, if, if I get two, two parallel lows, I can take the next one as a, as a leg A. At this point, if I call this a leg A, that's not normal. But in the futures, occasionally I'll do that. That gets me already to a D. And that just says, now you've got to be a little bit careful. I'm just going to be traditional and treat it as a, a, an A, B. We're at a peak, a leg C, maybe a peak C <clears throat> in gold, which is up 17 at 1950 in the continuous contract. Just about to go in the daily to a, to a sell signal only on the nine period moving average, not the chart itself. So, okay, I'll be back with that. But in the meantime, back at the ranch, let me just do this uh, uh, to show you. i got a, still a chunk of things to look at. Um, and yes, I will look at Disney. I've got a couple of questions to come, that have come in. But I look at, yeah, I'm going to be doing Steve's hour coming up. It won't be masking probability. Only Steve can do that. But I'll be doing my work during that particular hour. Dow's down 172, S&P's down 30. We'll see the Dow go back. We'll see the Dow go back. I'll be back in a moment. <laughs> 